Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Mallory with Made by Manny and Mal. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this neon power wash tumbler. I prepped my cup using Final Sand from DIY Epoxy. This is a really quick, easy, one-step process to prep. After that, I added a coat of white paint to our cup. I wanted to add a white base so that our neons would really, really pop, but this is totally optional. You can go straight in with your colored paint if you want to. I let this white paint dry for about an hour, and then I was ready to go in with my neons. I'm using seven different paints, all from Montana Colors. I got a five pack of fluorescent colors, and then a couple other ones I had, but you can use as many or as few colors as you want. So basically what we're gonna do with our paint is just spray the color randomly around the cup. The end goal for this design is to have it look like random neon paint splatters. So we're just spraying little bursts of each color, totally random. I'm not trying to get any sort of pattern or anything. I just want random paint splatter bursts of color. I tried to do opposing colors next to each other, so I did this purple and orange next to each other, and I did the pink and green, because I really did want those contrasts in color next to each other. And I also made sure to leave a little bit of white space in the middle of the cup where we're gonna put our decal later. But other than that, I didn't really pay attention. <laughs> I let this dry overnight and then I went in with my first coat of epoxy. I'm using about 25 milliliters of CCDIY's Fast Set and you know your girl had to add some glitter so I added a little bit of Bright from PGL of Glitters into the epoxy. This is a pretty thin layer of epoxy that we're doing. I'm using a 30 ounce skinny from Hog and I'm only using 25 milliliters of epoxy. So we're really not like globbing it on or putting a thick coat on. This is just to seal the paints in so we can go in and do our power wash. I let that epoxy cure overnight and then we were ready for the fun part, the power wash. I'm using gloss black from Rust-Oleum as my outer paint. Um, you can use any black, it doesn't matter. It's gonna go under epoxy anyway. So even if you have matte, that's totally fine. So for this technique, when you're spraying your power wash, you want to hold the sprayer or canister really far back. Um, other than that spot in the middle, we really want small little dots of soap all over the cup. So we're not spraying heavy spots anywhere, but we are spraying a lot of spots, if that makes sense. So the farther away you're spraying from, the smaller your soap concentration is gonna be. So if you hold your canister back far and you're spraying, you're gonna get smaller dots spread out more versus a really close concentrated spray. I'm using this really handy like sprayer thing on my paint can it makes it really easy to get a nice even coat of paint and it doesn't hurt your hand so i will link that in the description box if any of you are interested i got a two pack on amazon and they're pretty affordable once i have all my paint on my cup we're ready to spray it off i'm just using my hose i'm outside you can also dunk this into a bucket of water if you don't want to go outside and spray your hose I did this next step while the paint was still wet, but you can also wait until it dries if you're more comfortable. I'm taking acetone and rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going around and kind of cleaning up where that black spray paint got through the soap and left a little bit of a black mist on those colored spots. I'm not being totally perfect with this. I'm not trying to clean up everything, but there were some spots that just looked kind of grungy that I wanted to clean up. So I'm taking a coffee filter and my acetone and cleaning up those little edges where the color is and then i'm going to go in and spray some rubbing alcohol on my coffee filter and clean up that acetone i let this dry in front of a space heater just to help with any of the water bubbles and to help it dry more quickly and once it was dry, I went in with my next coat of epoxy. I'm still using Fast Set, but this time I'm adding in Super Nez or Super NES from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is a super fine holographic, so I thought it would look really cool on the black. This is not a super thick coat either. Our final coats are gonna be a little bit thicker, but for now we're just keeping the layers really thin. Um, I think this is about 20 to 25 milliliters that I'm applying. 
I hit it with my torch really quick to pop any air bubbles and let it cure for a full 12 hours. Once that coat is dry, we're going straight into our decal. I'm not doing any sanding or anything. We're just gonna put this decal on and keep on moving. So I got this lips with the tie-dye tongue image on Etsy. I will link the shop below, but I thought it was totally perfect for this design. I had something else in mind in the beginning and then I found this image on Etsy and was like, Yep, that's the one. So I'm using printable vinyl. I'm just gonna go for it and apply it. Um, I did make sure it was kind of straight, but I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it and hope for the best. <laughs> After I put the decal down, I took my vinyl scraper that has a felt side and kind of just pushed everything down, made sure there weren't any air bubbles or there weren't any pockets or anything sticking up. Uh, just go very lightly. We don't want to scratch the image. Printable vinyl is pretty delicate, so just be careful when you're doing that step. So here's what we've got. I am so excited that I chose this decal. Um, the next step is our final coats of epoxy. For these two final coats, I'm using CC DIY Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I love the finish of this CC DIY resin. It is definitely my favorite. I was testing out a bunch, but this one is the one I'm going with. So once we did these final coats, I hit it with my torch, let it cure, and we were all done. I am so happy with the final result. I love how this cup turned out. I will definitely be making more of this design. I might even list a few as ready to ship in my shop. So if you want to grab one, my shop is linked in the description. Or if you decide to make your own, I hope you are inspired by this technique and this design. I can't wait to see what you create and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for new videos every week, and come hang out in our new Facebook group. That is linked in the description as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will see you in our next video this Friday. Bye!